Hey guys, hope you all have been well. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be the last video of blush cheek swatches and we're going to be going with rosy slash purple tones and conclude this whole swatch party. But I really do hope that you've enjoyed it and I'm going to be swatching some more blushes eventually when I get all of the items in for my most recent haul. This is going to be the first video that I'm going to give you a foundation reference at the beginning. My memory didn't fail me this time. But for my MAC reference, I am an NC35 to an NC37. For the Fenty Soft Matte Pro Filter Foundation, I am 240. And for ColourPop's Pretty Fresh Foundation, I am an 80W. Like with all the other videos, I looked at the blush and whatever color came to mind first is a category that it was designated to. So if you're interested in these rosy slash purple blushes, I hope you decide to stay tuned. We're going to get into some swatches. In this video, it's all powder blushes. So I'm going to be using the BK Beauty brush in the number 107. The first blush that we have is Clinique's Cheek Pop and this is in the shade Fig Pop. This is the second taste I've gotten of this Clinique Cheek Pop line and I really love these blushes. Why I've waited so long to jump on this train, I have no idea. I am a blush fanatic and have always been, like since the beginning, blush has been my top obsession. So I'm kind of late on this game. But as you see in the pan here, it's a purple and a pink blend to create kind of that rosy look. And I'm very happy that I went with this shade because it's not a color that I have a lot of in my collection. And I've mentioned this in the previous like pink video. The finish on this is very unique in that it's not shimmery with like glitters or sparkles in it purely a mineralized and baked formula so it gives that sheen right on top of the cheeks without the glitters and sparkles and these colors are very good i mean you can use blush any time of the year right but for fall mm, it's gonna be so good so there we have clinique's fit pop wiping off my blush brush and moving on to Buxom. This is their Wonderlust Primer Infused Blush and I have it in the shade Seychelles. I was tossing between this and Dolly and I think Dolly would have ended up somewhere in this category as well if I'm not mistaken but something was drawing me a little bit more to this blush here. Now I'm going to forewarn you if you're like me and you don't like coconut scented products then this is not for you. Anytime I apply this blush I kind of dread it. I have to prepare myself but that's because I just I hate the scent of like artificial coconut. But in the pan, you can tell this is a shimmer blush. It's gonna have a lot of glow on the skin and different to the Clinique Fig Pop, this one is much more purple in tone. And this blush doesn't have a lot of kick up, has good pigmentation. This shade is a bit more subtle than the Fig Pop on this side, but you can see that glow. I don't even have highlighter on, so bringing it up towards the high points of my cheekbones it kind of lends itself to being both a blush and a highlighter. You can see that glow running through my skin. And as I have you dead on, you can see that purplish tone coming through. A lot of dimension with this one. I mean, my only gripe with it is the smell. I can smell it right now and I'm trying not to breathe in. So here we have Buxom's Seychelles. And our final look for these two blushes, here we have Clinique's Fig Pop, and here we have Buxom's Wonderlust Blush in Seychelles. And here we have our last two blushes, the first one being a Lorac blush, which is very weird. I haven't bought a Lorac item since the Pro Palette, but I saw a video where um, someone had was doing a blush declutter and they had this blush. And when I saw it, I'm like, what the hell, Lorac does blushes? This blush is so pretty. And this is the shade Cinematic. This blush, not so rosy. It, pulls a little bit more mauve purple. And this happens to be a matte finish. It is a bit powdery. I have some fallout buildup right here, but it does have really good pigmentation, so I'm not too concerned about it. Just kind of like dust it off, you know? Here we have it on the brush, and we're going to apply that onto the cheeks. 
This does pack a nice punch and it's very hard for me to really love a purple blush. When I started collecting blushes, it was one of my favorite like shade or tones of blushes and then I kind of fell out of love with it. So having these four to choose from, I think it's enough for me. I don't even have any from my MAC or my NARS collection. And here we have it face on. Final look of Lorac's Cinematic Blush. Very pleasantly surprised. And lastly, we have the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur Blush in Blurred Buff. This is a tongue twister. I, I always mix it up when I try to say it in one go. And this is what the blush looks like. There is a little bit of shimmer in it. I don't think it's gonna be very stark on the skin to be honest, but it is in there. And this shade, it's weird because I placed it in this category, but it also looks peach as well. I don't know if it's the fact that the blush is neutral and so my eyes are deceiving me, but you can see it right like it has this kind of purpleness to it as well this is a putty formula kind of like the glow play blush from mac and so i need to dig in a little bit more to get the pigment that i want i will say this isn't one of my most favorite formulas i prefer the glow play formula but for right now i'm holding on to it because it is such a pretty shade and it's a very good like everyday color you see a bit of that rosiness coming through that's why i placed it here it's like a subtle purpleness and rosiness and because it has that putty texture it also looks a bit more wet it is very pretty i just i don't know formula wise it's not my favorite so there is blurred buff by bare minerals final look of our two blushes here we have lorox cinematic blush and then on this side is bare minerals bounce and blur blush in blurred buff tongue twister and that is this blush on this side so guys thank you so much for joining me in this video and joining me for the entirety of this blush swatch series started with mac went to nars went to neutrals went to peaches i think pinks and here we are with purple rosies if you're interested in what i have on my face today please be sure to check out the description box there i will list everything that i have on my face but you can also check me out on instagram it'll be the first link in the description box down below where i post a photo of all my makeup looks along with all the products in the caption till the next video i hope you all are doing well taking great care of yourselves i will see you all next time bye guys